driving out to the river and we got a little flood gate. Flood gates are closed. I can't speak well. Gonna go see what we got up here. Should be interesting. Well, as you can see, my first inspection of the river, it's very high. I'm gonna have to say our river lot is definitely under and my benches are gone, but we'll get closer and see. Just to give you an indication of how close the water is to this fence here. It's close. It's moving and it's up. Pretty high stuff. Good thing I came out here last week. I took a picture of this bridge. And now I can retake the picture with all the high floodwaters. And there it is, the bridge. There's some high water out there, boys. Let's see how ugly it is on the other side. I might come back with kayak. But I might not, so don't anybody get too freaked out. Well, as you can see, we are definitely in a flood situation. You got water way high, losing a lot of trees on the banks. Holy cow. What's this gonna do to our river lot? Whew. Fields are flooded. It's coming up higher and higher. It's making for some treacherous current. Very high. Look at that tree branch up there just shaking. Where's that? Thing's probably gonna come out and float down the river pretty soon. It's getting knocked around. Pretty good sized tree coming by. There's that tree again. That's pretty hilarious. It's moving pretty good, you can tell. This is what it looks like on the other side. Oh, I could kayak across there, couldn't I? It's just a big lake. Well, it's a pretty good flood, huh? That field is just totally, totally done in. Down by the end of the road. This is where the water's coming across. Right even with that sign. Gonna pull down in here and walk down this guy's road here next to the bridge. I'm not gonna go far though, am I? Yep, we got water, kids. 
Okay, I made me a little cart here with the uh, little wheels I got from my dad's house. I hope this works. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, kids. I'm gonna try to roll this thing up there and... Well, we got a problem already. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I see, the wheels are jicky-jacked. Well, as you can see, I made it. Um, my cart didn't work out for me, so I had to carry it. I'll try to show you where I'm at here. We did a little test run. I can go upstream. There it is. One lane bridge. Anyway, I did test it. I am able to paddle upstream, so I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna get over there where the water's a little still. And I'm going to put the camera away for now, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, bye-bye now. Wish me luck, everybody. Okay, one thing I've noticed out here is a whole lot of spiders in the water. And look at this bastard. So I guess that's what's out in these woods, huh, when we're out here camping and stuff? Just to give you a little idea how big he is. I think he's running from me. Why don't you climb up on this boat, you prick? He's got a thing of eggs on him, man. He's unbelievable looking. Sorry about the bad camera work there. Now this is the ultimate man. Look at him, he is protecting that sack of eggs. Come on. Oh well, enough of him. Okay, here I am paddling in amongst the trees of the river lot. I can't recognize our lot yet. I don't think I'm to it. This may not be the smartest thing I've ever done in my life, but it sure is fun for the moment. Here's the field out there. And I'm running into a tree, so. Okay, there's the field out there. The tree's holding me up. I'm sure spiders and ticks are crawling all over me at this point in time, but it's okay. I'm gonna continue on, folks. If you find this tape washed up down the river, you know I'm somewhere near it. Okay, bye-bye now. Let's take a picture. One thing I was sure hoping to see, and there's one right there. Big black snake in a tree. Nice. He's looking for food and something to do. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. I'm going to go get a closer look. What a beauty. Look at him. What's he doing? He looks like he's full of fish. See how clumpy his body looks? He said climb this tree. Which is why when I bump into a tree, I get a little, you know, I look up, you know. That would probably be a good picture to stop it. Can you see him in there? I don't know if he's just getting away from me or just having fun or chasing something. He's a pretty snake though. Okay, I'm drifting, I gotta go, bye-bye. Okay, this is my first sign of the lots here. This is way down from ours. We walked down to this, though. Uh, there's somebody's picnic table right there. I'm hoping to find my bench the same way. I'll just tie you to a tree, so. That's why we're here. Let's go see what we can find. We're looking for more snakes, too. Look at that tree hung up there. Okay, getting closer to our lots. There's a pavilion next to ours. Pretty high water there. There's a the neighbor's bathrooms. Everybody's outhouse gets a free flush job at this point, though. That's a good thing. And we're going to go up to my lot now. It's right there is my outhouse. And here's our lot, kids. Uh oh, drifting, drifting fast.
Okay, I had to make a slight adjustment there, kids. I am holding on to our outhouse, as you can see. The uh, water is really swift right here. I mean, right here, it's not too bad. Right about where that tree, right where that Terra Loco tree is, it's swift. I'm sure I can maneuver around out there a little bit, but there's the ring game. The hook is barely above water. Let's see it. It's kind of hard to hold this tree in film, but uh, my table. Barely above water. No hope in finding the benches, I am thinking at this point. Well, I guess our fireplace is getting cleaned out. As you can see, I'm using my table here as a little resting place. I guess the benches are gone, kids. Every last one of them. Well, Doug. Doug didn't like him anyway. Hey, my uh, paper towel holder is still here. Outhouse is wasted. But clean. Horseshoe pits are going to be nice and fresh. Here's our lot. Might as well take a picture of this too. Now don't fall in, Scooby. Falling in would not be good, okay. Okay, just to show you. Just to show you how not hard this is. Maybe I could do a ring. Hey, our, our fire pokers are still here. Maybe I could actually get a ring while I'm out here. Well, that didn't work. I better put it back on. Anyway, it's really easy to, mo to move around out here. Not a problem at all. You know, you drift a little bit towards the trees, but you just pull away and have a good day. Very fast stuff right out there. I'm just glad I didn't lose the camera or the boat on that little trip. We got stuff. I'm gonna go lose that blue thing, let it float away. Okay, I came over to pull this blue thing off and let it float away. And there's a little bitty snakey on it. A little bitty cute guy, I don't know what he is. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Problem with this filming is I'm not watching what's going on around me. Look at that spider climbing right up on his head. I could get a natural attack here. What's going on there? Eat his ass. Eat him. Guess he's not gonna eat him. Everything's floating here in the outhouse. The lid's up, the toilet paper's all back there floating, our tiki torches are floating. Looks like all of our, I mean, not tiki torch, uh, tiki bucket. The hammock's in there, good thing. I hung that on a bag last week. I think I better take that. I'll take that home just so it doesn't, just so it doesn't go away. In case you're wondering why I have Doug Brown's kayak, 
I was returning it to him today, which I'm still gonna do. There's my little snaky friend. I'm on the way to do that. And I thought, well, hell, I might as well put it to use, you know. I can't see him. There he is. He's coming after me. Okay, this is Uncle Harry's lot. There's the brush pile, there's the pavilion. There's their two picnic tables. I'm drifting in the fast water, so I gotta get out of here. It's really moving out there, man. I don't wanna get out there. Yeah, the move of the water is really, you can hear it. I mean, it is roaring out there. There's my target up there, Bruce! Brucey! I'm bringing you some supplies, dude. I can see him up there somewhere. Another nice little snake sitting on a stump there. Just hanging out, beating the flood. So there's Bruce and Coco. They're on a little dry piece of land. Yeah, let's get a shot here. Paul, I'll pull through here. He's gonna get a shot of me kayaking through. He's, he's documenting this whole flooding experience too. And look at him, he's dry as a popcorn fart. And there's Bruce just hanging out with Coco. The water's right up to the edge of his place. He's got a fishing pole in. Of Look at wood. that. You're just sitting up, gas, there. Gas up there. Just sitting up there checking out. Let's go check it out. Show me the porch. Huh? Oh! I brought you some supplies, buddy. Oh, I brought you beer, cigarettes, a couple cans of soup. Oh, you know, I don't know how long you're going to be out here. Look well, at this. Here, it ain't going, I mean, it, it, it crested. Yeah. But that, it, it definitely crested. Now, what the rain happened tonight, who knows? Shotgun there, ready for the snakes and everything, whatever critters come our, his way. This is Bruce's pad. I just tripped up the steps. This is the pad here. Bruce is hanging out. Got a little beef jerky going on. Some rice. This is just a little bouncy, but it's all right. It's a little bouncy, he says. This could be where it all ends here, folks. Oh, no. I made my journey, and I'm going <laughs> to... brother. This is nice. This is living here, Jack. So you brought your uh, propane up. Yeah, that was, that's my 40 foot extension ladder, so I took them apart. I right. them over here yesterday morning. I had this plywood downstairs, and I said, well, that'd be a perfect place to put the plywood so it, well, it don't wash away. Then yesterday afternoon, I got to thinking, well, now that gas tank ain't very high, and if a log comes through, it might hang on to that copper oh, tube. Oh, yeah. Or copper tubing. So I figured out how to do that, and I got it up here. So, this is where I sat last well, night until I went inside. My benches are gone. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, they might just be floating along and hang up somewhere. Yeah, but they could, be out, that was, they, they could be down there where everything hangs up at. Yeah. It's raising up towards the, the wire. When did the, when did the electric go out? 12.05. 12.05 last night. The clock says it. And look what we got here, kids. And that's, a, that's the type of tree that could do it. That thing right there could. That's brand new. There's That's... nothing wrong with that tree. It fell and just scarred itself up and just kept on. That is unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that shake well, too. May 7th, two years ago, the sycamore that probably took our line down, like that bitch right there, ended up. Remember it down here, Scoop? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The river? Right. It was right down there, wasn't it? Exactly what it looks like. All of a Look at that thing stopped. go. It's just trucking on down the river. It's going to grab. It's bouncing, and the root wad's bouncing off the bottom, I guess. Got all my lumber tied up over there. Johnny did the same thing. So everything was secure, wired the two tables, all that. And then yesterday morning, I said, I need a porch. 
<laughs> so I took the ladder, took it apart, split them both up there, got the plywood, and made a perfect fucking place. That works sitting great, up, man. Sitting up there in a lawn chair. Just watching the shit go by. Watching the stuff go by. If she wasn't <laughs> damn gun shy, I would have shot things with my 22 because that's fun. Yeah. Plastic bottles and 55 gallon drum, gas tanks, all kinds <laughs> of tires. So, but being that she's gun shy, I said, well, yeah. She'd want to hide underneath the desk, you know. But it's pretty fun. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. I'm I'm right. Well, uh, a friend of mine comes. Okay, so I brought Bruce some supplies. What did I bring you there, brother? Uh, ravioli. Ravioli. Beef tamales. Beef tamales. And a little star kiss tuna. Tuna fish. And a pack of cigarettes. Pack of smokes. And the best thing. 12 pack of bush Bavaria. 12 pack of bush. It's <laughs> over in the freezer right over there. <laughs> which is hey, plugged in. Got to take care of the mare, you know. He, which does not work because yeah. electric. But he's got block ice in there. The guy's got it going I made, on, I man. I made a whole bunch of block ice. But see, I got that's loaded with deer meat. Yeah. I mean, I can't get the deer meat out of here. I'm going to take a quick look at this. Oh, where's that old uh, buggy there? Oh, John had that in front of his farmhouse, so he brought it on down. That's pretty cool. Wagon. Pretty cool looking. Pass away? Oh yeah. Oh okay. There's this. Oh, there's a down telephone pole up here. I don't know what this bus is all about. Got a nice little bench in front of it, though. And there's why there's no electricity out here right now for for Mr. Bruce. Wow, look at this action, man! Right out in front of his place, it is just rolling. There's another big stump floating by. See it through there. All this wood's about to be carted off. Shoot. Didn't mean to do that one, kids. I was going to try to get a picture of that stump floating by, but I missed it. Sitting here talking to Bruce, and I looked over there and spotted a big ass black snake. Look at him. He's coming down. He was up in a tree and he just came yeah. down. Look at that guy, man. Shit, that ain't nothing. The one I had out here bugging with me yesterday was about over a five footer. That's about a three and a half, maybe, maybe three and a half. Now see, now watch that. Watch it. Yeah. You just watch it. See what he's gonna do. If he comes here, if he, there, oh, he's longer than I thought. He's close to the four foot. Now watch it. Show him a little bit. Go on, yeah, get the current going down here. I don't understand that, Scuba. Everyone I've ever seen, all day yesterday and all most of the day today, they always are trying to go upstream. So I think it must be their habitat that they're trying to get back to where they came from. Oh, is that it? I'll tell you what. So what'd you say? <laughs> The next time I get stranded on the river or any place, I will never be left without a bottle of Jim Beam, batteries for a portable radio, or a flashlight or a lantern. Oh, oh here, he here, he here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. See, I told you. Oh, 
want you to grab on that tree. No, we don't go. No, I'm good. I oh, know he can't. He's gonna come in the shore. I walk over here, he's just gonna keep going down. Right. He's a pretty sleek one, man. Come on up here, buddy, I'll catch you. You tired of hanging out in the trees? You want to get a little land on you? Coming right to me. Come here, you bastard. Going back in. I do like they do on the TV show. Let's go find out. Oh, he's a beauty. When I always catch him, when I always catch him during the summertime, during the springtime, I throw him over here and get him in the field. But I don't think Kathy would like that somebody up there in that cabin over there. Yeah. Well, you're going to put him in the grass or back out in the river? Over there. Where? Over there in the field. Okay. Yeah. You don't mind walking in the water. And I'll tell you, he's, probably, he's definitely four and a half feet. Now he's closer to your cabin though, but... Nice day out here, man. It was a great journey. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to paddle on down the road, though, bro. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure do appreciate having you come by. I really do. Hey, brother. Got to take care of the mayor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, the sheriff's not here today. Just the mayor? I'm the mayor, but the sheriff's gone. I thought he might. Be Where's this? I'm gonna take one more cruise through the lots and head back out to the field. And... Oh, I tell you, going down, that's going to be nice. Yeah. Okay, I pushed it. This is how we kayak in the floods here in the Merrimack. Yeah. It's not too tough. It looks, it looks tough. But there's some moving water. It's not bad. There's a big thousand legger right there, a million legger, centipede. There's some runny water out here though, buddy. It's nice out here. Alright, let's do the other thing. It's really nice to stop by. It's hey. interesting. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm, 
this, um, is, this is what makes makes being down here, you know, enjoyable. If somebody would stop by and say hi. I'm very glad I did. When I went the first time, you saw you looked down and said, "Holy shit! Here comes somebody on a boat." I, just the honest guy truth. When I looked down there yeah. and saw the two white things on the paddle, yeah. I said, that's scuba. <laughs> I did. I said it to myself. I said, "That's come scuba." I ran in there. I made sure I had my camera. And I got me another beer, and I said, if he's coming up, i got to get a snapshot of him. There we go. Well, well, it's always an enjoyable visit, but this was my favorite one, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, buddy. Now, look at this guy's house. He's got all of his stuff. A bunch of his wood's up. Boy, this would have been perfect for the helmet cam. Oh, the lots are full, huh? Whew. I'm gonna get around this clump of trees here. Just wish I had a little bit more time to scan the trees for uh, snakes and stuff. Because they are everywhere out here. He said there was turkeys on the roofs over here and moles come out of the water and out of the ground. This is called floating the lot here, kids. Floating the lots. I have a technique here of one-handed one -handed paddling. See that? I don't want to screw up here and like hit this log and fuck up. I mean, mess up. Edit. There's Mount Lovelot. This brush pile did not float away. It's unbelievable. Okay, new picnic table. Here's the tree that fell last week. Unflood related. Let's go look at the hollow tree. How's that sound? The entire opening of the hollow tree is underwater. Unbelievable. Lots of floating wood out here. Okay, last chance to see the lot. I don't know why I keep taking this video, but it's just so unbelievable to me. I just can't believe the river's like this right now. <laughs> oh boy. I'd like to find another snake. I'd love to find my benches. Who knows, maybe they're just still sitting there right underneath that fire pit. Okay, I think the video is done, kids. Unless I see something interesting. Thanks for being here with me. Terra loca, there's my table. Unbelievable. Well, I made it back, I guess. I'm pretty darn close anyway. It was quite a journey. I had a lot of fun. Doug, thanks for letting me use your kayak. Uh, you know, water still at the same level it was before. And I had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hold on. Carry the canoe all the way up the road, all the way up and around. But hey, it was fun. Thanks for being here. Bye.